wipeout. And here to pit their knowledge and strategy against the wipeout are Janet McCracken, Erica McLean, Ken Clady, and the one who fares the best could drive off in this S10 Blazer. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here's your host, the star of Wipeout, Peter Kamarkin. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Thanks very much. Hey, everybody, how are you today? Glad to have you with us once again. We're going to play Wipeout. I hope you're going to stay with us the whole time. We're going to have all kinds of games that you'll enjoy playing as well. I know our contestants enjoy it because one of them is going to get the opportunity to try for that brand new Blazer. And what do you say we talk to them right now, find out a little bit about them? We have Janet McCracken with us. And Janet, you were once in Kenya, eaten by ants? Well, I was attacked by army ants. My father was a missionary for a year, and while we were running around in a friend's backyard, my brother not, and I got eaten. Not fun. No, it wasn't. Okay, we don't have that for a while now. You just lose your money. <laughs> but you don't want that to happen either. Good luck today. Thank you. And we have Erica with us. Hi, Peter. How are you, Erica? And Erica, you lived in Tokyo for a while. Two years, yeah. Were you eaten by ants in Tokyo by chance? And no, sushi. <laughs> Had your fill of sushi, have you? Lots of sushi. Yeah, okay. great. So now I'm you like it. cooked food. Everything cooked. Yes, yes, I, that's true. <laughs> I can understand. Well, good luck today. Good to have you with us. Thank you. And Ken is with us. And Ken, you are a firefighter? Yes, I am. From Peter. where? With uh, Orange County Fire Department. I, I live see. in San Clemente. Great. Well, we got uh, Kaylee, McCracken, and McLean. I mean, what is this? Uh, this is <laughs> Scott and, and Irish? Oh, this is going to be a tough one, gang. Hang in here. Let's look at the board, shall we? We're going to play a wild game. 16 answers on that board. 11 correct, 5 wrong. I got a job for you. Find the 11 correct ones. If you do, I'll pay you $25 for the first correct answer. Then we'll go to 50 Then $75 for the third correct answer, and so on until that 11th correct answer. We'll give you $275 for that one if you are right. Uh, if you are wrong, we are going to wipe you out, which means we're going to take your money and your turn. You don't want that to happen because only two of you will get to that challenge round. That third place player isn't going to make it. Okay, gang? Janet, you drew first position. You have first crack at that board. As always, you can pass if you want, but you have to make at least one selection before you do that. And we're going to play like we always do until all the wrong, or in some cases, all the right answers have been revealed. Okay? Dying to know what the question is for all those mm -hmm. answers? Okay, here it is. There are 11 names of American Indian leaders here. How many do you recognize, Janet? All I need is one to start, and you'll get $25. Okay. Um... Geronimo. Geronimo! Let's find out, is that an Indian leader? Yes, he is. Twenty-five dollars a good start, Janet. You have ten correct left out of fifteen. Well, I'll go one more time okay. with Sitting Bull. Sitting Bull, an Indian leader? Yes, indeed. Uh, that's tough to hit, tell you. Seventy-five dollars. All right, there are nine correct left out of fourteen. Next one's worth seventy-five. You can double your money or you can pass to Erica. <laughs> okay. I'll go with the audience and with... Go with Erica. She's saying play it. Don't have it. <laughs> Crazy Horse. Crazy Horse. An Indian chief? Let's find out. Yes. Crazy Horse. You got it. And that's uh, 150, Janet. Eight correct left out of 13. I think I'll pass. All right. We're going to go to Erica now. You came to play, Erica. It's your yes, chance. Yes, I know. Eight left out of 13. Give me one. Well, it's Cochise. Who else? Cochise. Let's see if he's a Scottish Indian. We'll find out. Yeah. He's an Indian leader. Erica, $100, second place. Seven correct left out of 12. You player pass. another one, right? <laughs> I'll play. Okay. I'll play. Um, I have to give you another one? Sure do. Oh, I'll go with Pontiac. Pontiac. Let's find out if it's a car or if it's a, an Indian chief. Hey, it's an Indian leader. Chief Pontiac. 225, first place. Pass the rule. Ken. Any Irish right Indians up there? Six left out of 11. I do know Running Bear is safe. Running Bear. Indian, we'll find out if he's an Indian leader. No, oh. he's not. Ran you right out of here in terms of money. You didn't lose any, but you lost your turn. Janet, back to you, $150. And uh, there are six correct left out of 10. Okay. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it, but I'll go with Tecumseh. You did it. Tecumseh's right. Let's find out if he is an Indian leader. Yeah, leader of the Shawnees. $300, and you're in first place by $75. Five correct left out of nine. Let's try Red Jacket. Red Jacket. I like the name. Let's find out if it's an Indian leader. Yes, Chief, and it's Seneca. $475 puts you 250 in the first place. Four correct left out of eight. There's four right, four wrong. Be careful, okay. or you can pass to Erica. Uh, um, I'm going to pass. That wasn't very missionary-like, Janet. <laughs> Erica, to you, four and four. It's worth $200 if you're right. 
Well, I have a friend from Montauk. Uh -huh. Well, I'll go with that. So you'll see if that helps. Friend, let's see if your friend from Montauk's an Indian. No. When you find your friend from Montauk, you can slap him. Because I will. He <laughs> didn't Wait. help you. Getting to you. Four left out of seven that are correct. Give okay. me one. Let me try wounded knee. Wounded knee. All right. Well, if you don't get it, we'll wound you. Is he yeah. in here? Oh, another wound. You'll be walking on one leg for a while. Oh. All right, Ken, uh, remember the hot spot's still up there. We go to Janet, 475. There are four correct left out of six. That's pretty good odds, Janet. Okay. Um, let's try Washakie. Let's try Washakie. Washakie? Is that what you wanted? Washakie. I'm sorry, I missed it. Oh! Boy, well, you remember what you said. Instead of what I said. That'll go up. Washakie translates to hot spot as well as bucks. And, uh, John, what is on the hot spot today, if you please? Well, the hot spot winner will enjoy one of the nicest spots in Palm Springs. The Oasis Water Resort Villa Hotel, near famed Palm Canyon Drive Shopping, plus admission every day to the water resort with one of the California's largest wave action pools, valued at over $1,200. Whoa! Sounds pretty nice, Palm Springs, and little tan. The object is to hold on to it because should you wipe out during the round, it goes back up on the board behind one of the three remaining correct answers for someone else to grab. Also, you have to be one of the two players to get to the challenge round to keep it. You're on your way, though. 675, Eric and Ken, zip as in zippity doo dot. Uh, what do you want to do, Janet? I'm going to pass. going to pass. Erica? <laughs> back in the ball game, 225 is the answer. Lose. Right? <laughs> what do you think? Three out of five correct. Yeah, I'll go, definitely. I'm going to go with uh, Washte. I've never heard of him. Washte. We'll find out if Washte is an Indian leader. No, it is not. And we go to Ken. Ken, you got pretty good odds here. You can't have much better. <laughs> Three out of four are right. It's worth 225 if you are right. I'm going to take the audience's advice and go Chevrolet. Go well, with Chevrolet. Let's see what the audience knows. Chevrolet, please, is that an Indian here? Well, let's see. You want to sit down there and let the audience come up? Yeah. What do they know? <laughs> Chevrolet is a car. It's not an Indian. All right, Janet, to you. And the game's over. That's what it amounts to because all the, all the wrong answers have been revealed. 675 is the total for Janet, so you are going to the challenge round. Sure. Eric and Ken, I could throw you both out of here, but I'm not going to do that. Instead, we're going to go to a tiebreaker <laughs> to find out which one of you is going to jump in your Chevrolet and accompany uh, Janet right. to the challenge round. We do that by putting a board upon which there are 12 answers, 8 correct, 4 wipeouts. We'll go back and forth between the two of you until one of you wipes out. It's called sudden death. And the, yes, and if one of you wipes out, you're gone. The other one goes to the challenge round. I have a ye old coin in my hand. Erica, call in the air to see who goes first. It's tail. It's head. Oh. Okay, oh. Ken, you are first. Let us peruse your board. Eight of these are reproductive processes. That's saying it nicely. Name them and break the tie. Ken, give me one. There are eight up there that are correct. Uh, gestation. Gestation. All right, we'll find out if that is a reproductive process. Yes, it is. Over to you, Erica. Give me another one. I got to have one. Incubation. Incubation. Let's find out if that is a reproductive process. Yes, it is. Back to Ken. Uh, mitosis. Mitosis. Let's find out if that is a reproductive process. It is right again. Back to Erica. Self-fertilization. Self-fertilization. We'll find out about that one. Okay. Back to Ken. It's, uh, I think, fission. Fission. Let's find out if fission is a... It is a reproductive process. And now back to Erica. We read... There are four wipeouts. Recombination. Recombination. Let's find out if that is a reproductive process. No, it's a genetic process forming two organisms. I'm sorry, Erica, you're out. Ken, you're in. Congratulations, Janet and Ken. Let's look at the other. Uh, let's look at the other correct answers up there. We had budding, incubation, gestation, conjugation, fission, mitosis, self fertilization, and meiosis. And I'm going to put those into a song and sing them for you. And uh, Erica, you're leaving us with some nice prizes. Thanks okay. for being with us. And Ken and Janet, we'll see you in the challenge round, and we'll also see you folks there. So don't go away. We'll be back. And Peter Tamarkin. All right, we're back with the Irish clan. Janet and Ken. <laughs> Scott Woman's gone. We've got the Irish with us. Janet, 675. Ken, no bucks. What you got here, that's what's important. Janet, we're going to put your money away. So it's nice and safe. You don't have to worry about it. It's yours under any circumstances. We're going to play a different game this time. It's a challenge round. Before we play it, John's going to tell you what you're playing for. John. Oh, our nation's capital is the destination of our challenge winner, Peter. And they'll stay at the beautiful Washington Plaza Hotel. A short stroll from the White House, the Mall, monuments, and museums. 
with luxurious amenities, health club, Olympic size heated pool and fine dining. We will fly you and a companion from Los Angeles to Washington, D.C. aboard Delta Airlines award-winning service. You'll also experience the exclusive Crown Room Lounge in the new Oasis Terminal, all from Delta Airlines. The retail value of this trip, Peter, is over $1,900. A nice trip to Washington, D.C. Let me tell you how you're going to get there. First of all, you take this pole down to the freeway. No, before you do that, you've got to play the game. What we're going to do is put a board up there with 12 answers, 8 correct, 4 wipeouts. You don't want the wipeouts. What we're going to do is pit the two of you against one another. First player to get two games, best two out of three, is going to get that chance, is going to go to Washington and stop by and check the car out on the way. Uh, what I'll do is I'll go to Janet, since she won the money in round one, and ask her first how many she can get right on our board without wiping out. Then Ken will ask you if you want to increase the bid or challenge her on her bid. We'll go back and forth until we get to the maximum number of eight bids or until one of you challenges the other. Once that person's challenged, he or she must give me all the answers in a row correctly that she, he or she bid, or the other player can jump in with only one correct answer and win that board. Everybody got it? Janet, you're up. Let us examine your board. John Steinbeck was one of this century's greatest writers. How many of the eight Steinbeck novels listed here can you name without wiping out, Janet? Uh, I could get four of them. Four. That's half of them, Ken. What do you think? You're going to increase it or uh, challenge it? Uh, I'm not quite sure. I'm going to go with five. Five. He ups it to five, Janet. It's up okay. to you now. Increase or challenge. I think I'm going to have to challenge. Challenge. Her. All right, let's see what kind of a reader Ken is. There's five in a row, Ken. If you give them to me, you'll win the first board. It's a very important advantage. If not, Janet will get to jump in. All right, Ken, here we go. There are eight correct. Give me five. Let's start with the Grapes of Wrath. Grapes of Wrath, a Steinbeck novel. Yes, it is. Four to go, Ken. How about the East of Eden? East of Eden, another Steinbeck novel. Yes, it is. James Dean in that film. Uh, three to go. Okay. I think To Have and Have Not. To Have and Have Not, a Steinbeck novel. Uh, Ernest Hemingway. Janet, there are six up there that are correct. All you have to do is give me one out of that six, and you'll have stolen the board from Ken, and you'll be in the lead one to zip. Of Mice and Men. Of Mice and Men. Is that a Steinbeck novel? Yes, it is. Indeed it is. And Janet, you did it. Snuck it away from Ken, and you got the first game. Let's look at the other correct answers. They are Tortilla Flat, Sweet Thursday, Winner of Our Discontent, the Moon is Down, and Cannery Row, all Steinbeck novels. And uh, score one for Janet and nothing for Ken. We come back. Janet, you'll need one more game to win it. Ken, you're going to have to come out of the bushes and get two. And uh, we'll be back to see who wins the challenge round after these words. Stay with us. Five and Peter Kamarkin. We're back. Score Janet one and uh, score Ken nothing. But this game is far from over. Uh, this time you're up, Ken. Let's look at your board. Here's one from the horsey set. Eight of these are breeds of horses. How many can you name to avoid a photo finish, Ken, without wiping out? Oh, I can go with, uh, I'll go with five. Oh, oh, Ken's serious, Ooh. Janet. Five. Ooh. That's pretty intense. We're going to increase it or challenge it? I'm going to try six. Whoa. Back to Ken. Janet, yeah. I'm bluffing. I'm going to let you have it. You think Janet's bluffing? Uh -oh. With that sweet, innocent face, you think she's bluffing? We're going to find out, Janet. Six in a row. If you get them all right, you will uh, win the second board, and that means the Washington, D.C. trip is yours, and we'll stop by and check the car out. If uh, you're not careful, whoever Ken can jump in. So give me six. There are eight up there. Give me the six. Okay, I'll start with my husband's favorite horse, the Appaloosa. Appaloosa. Is that a horse breed? Yes, it is. That's one. Five to go. Uh, Arabian. Arabian. The breed of horse. Check it out. Yeah, you're on your way. Four to go. The Morgan. A Morgan. Let's find out if that's a breed of horse. It is, indeed. Small, but it is a breed. And there's three to go, Janet. Palomino. Palomino. Is that a breed of horse? It is. You're on a roll. Two to go, Janet. Oh, boy. Um, Belgian. A Belgian. Let's find out if that is a breed of horse. Yes, it is. All right, Janet. <laughs> All right, you need one more. If you do it, you'll win the board and the trip. And Ken would like you desperately to mess Not up. To, I know. And, oh, this is, this is rough. <laughs> Um, a Clydesdale? A Clydesdale. Let's find out if that's a breed of horse. A big horse and a big win. You did it, Janet. That's a, that's a big horse, my dear. Two games to aught. Let us look at the other correct answer. Standard, bred, and whaler. Those are the other two. And Janet, 
How many horses have you owned in your life? None. None, but you, you obviously, have you ridden a lot? I guess you know? just your hearing husband about and them, my husband. talk a lot about horses. Yeah, he likes horses a lot. And right. Ken would like to go back in time, perhaps, and <laughs> That's do right. the bidding. <laughs> well, Ken, you are leaving us with some nice prizes. I thank you for being with us. Thank you. I enjoyed it. And Janet, you're yeah. going to Washington, D.C., but come on up here first. <laughs> okay. Because we'll chit-chat a while, because we'll kind of come back and show Janet a little goodie before she goes running off to Washington, D.C. So join us. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. Here's Peter. All right, we're back with Janet, who looks ever so innocent, but she decimated. You decimated the other contestants, and you made it here to the uh, bonus round. You got cash from round one, you got a hot spot trip to Palm Springs, you got a trip to Washington, D.C., but I got something else to show you. Check this out, if you will. It's this brand new car. Here it is. The Chevy S10 Blazer, one of the most popular vehicles in its class, and one of the most fun in any class, from Chevrolet. All right, you think you could run over here? Are you, you think you could uh, get around in that all right? Yeah, absolutely. It? It'll be okay for yes. you? Yes. Yes. I can handle <laughs> yeah. it. I'm, uh, you're okay. <laughs> Are you all ready in your Speedos? Yeah. How elegantly attractive. <laughs> it's so you. All right. All right. What we're going to do is give you a question. Okay. Put 12 answers on the board, real simple. And six of the answers will be right. Unfortunately, there'll be six that will be wrong. Mm -hmm. But you will avoid those and find the six that are correct. And by so doing, you will rid us of this car. All right? <laughs> Not that we don't like it. We love it. But you'll like it even more. Uh, what I'll do is give you a demonstration to show you how it's done. Uh, mine is the uh, astronauts who have walked on the moon. There they are. There are 12 of them. Obviously, six are right, six are wrong. I'm going to want to find the six that are correct. So I go to the board, and I select by touching the rim around each of the screens where I think there's a right answer. So I would go one, two, three, four, five, six. And I can't do seven, I can only do six, so I come back over here, hit this red buzzer, a nice solid hit, and see how many I get right. Four, not bad, but I want to get to six. In order to do that, I'm going to have to select something else. But I have to turn something off before I can make a new selection. That's important. So I turn that one off and, you know, take a couple looks around and maybe try this and see if that makes any difference and come back over here, hit it again and see what happens. I went, uh, and, uh, you know, as it were. That's why I host and you play the game. What we're going to do is give you your own, however, because this one is so easy. And uh, we're going to give you 60 seconds within which to do it. Okay? okay. You ready? Yeah. Let's look at your board. <laughs> Sunday night has always been a big night for TV viewing. Name the six shows here that were most often seen on Sunday nights and win the blazer. Are you ready? You have 60 seconds. Okay. Best of luck. Go! One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see. Five right. Five right. All right, let's see. 38 seconds. Four right. 35. Forty-nine seconds. You gotta turn something off. Okay, let's see where we are. Twenty seconds, five. All right, nineteen. Fifteen. All right, twelve seconds. Down to four. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, five. Oh! I hate it when that happens. Oh, you had five forever. <laughs> oh, that's unnerving. I think I know the one, though. It's, it's not Jackie Gleason, right? Let's see the correct answer. There's the correct answer. Oh, Sullivan, yeah. Kojak, Jack Benny, Lassie, Candy, Cameron, Bonanza. You, had to, you were stuck on Jackie yeah. Gleason. I don't blame you. He's good, but he's on Saturday night. We'll be back <laughs> right after these words. Oh! Oh! on our Wipeout Contestant Hotline at area code 213-463-0161. Weekdays, 9 to 5 Pacific Time. Here's Peter again. All right, we're back with Janet. We got cash in round one, a hot spot trip to uh, Palm Springs, plus the trip to Washington, D.C. for a total of $3,823. And what's more important is you're coming back 
You're coming back to take another shot, and I know you want to get back here again. I sure do. And get to five That's with right. uh, that many seconds six. and grab it. Six tomorrow. You'll never forget where Jackie Gleason was on Saturday never. nights, right? Never. All right. We'll be back. We're, we're, we're back here every day. You don't have to wait till Saturday and Sunday night. We're here every day, same time, same station. So join us next time. Until then, Peter Tamarkin, thanks for being with us. Bye-bye. Some member of our studio audience may receive trucks for quality, reliability, and design excellence. Juicer, food slicer, timer, scale, coffee mill, and Krupp's renowned Brewmaster electric drip coffee maker. Some of today's departing contestants will receive some of the following. Ricola, the all-natural herb cough drop imported from Switzerland. Ricola soothes the throat and relieves coughs naturally for over 60 years. And now Lee's made the French manicure easy and affordable with Lee press-on nails, the French manicure. And Scratch Guard bath and kitchen cleaner. From Turtle Wax, cleans and shines bath and kitchen surfaces without scratching and never leaves a gritty residue. And Miss Lee, smaller size Lee Press on Nails in teen and preteen fun colors. Miss Lee Press on Nails. And your choice of an Armatron watch for work, dress and play, beautiful diamond watches, all sport and fun fashion watches. America's watch, Armatron. And this holiday season, give him the gift a woman loves to be close to, the gift of Brute or Brute 33. It smells like a man.